So, you just bought your RV or you're thinking about buying your RV and you are wondering how the heck you're going to fit everything from your house into this little space. Um, my family and I, my name is Christy, and we went full time over a year ago and so I have lots of tips for you after kind of living in the RV for a year and seeing what things we need, what things we didn't need, and also just how the heck we fit them every in, into here. So, anyway, first I'm going to start with the pantry. The pantry, in my RV, our, our pantry is pretty big, but something that has been super helpful, and I actually even got rid of them because we didn't need them. I, at first, seriously, you guys, first of all, you don't need as much stuff as you think. <laughs> you think you need everything in your house that you had, and really, like, I promise, Logan and I have, like, de so many times. I think after we were out on the road for the first month, we got rid of, like, four garbage bags full of stuff. <laughs> And then recently we got rid of some bins as well. And so, first of all, you don't need everything you think you need. And, but I love the bins in here because when you're cooking, like you can, I can move this bin out and I can get to the stuff behind it as well. So if I need something back here, I can get behind the bin. And then also, it's an easy way when you go grocery shopping, you can just throw them all in the bins. And then you can also have bins that stack on top of each other if you need more space. But I didn't want the bins to completely fill my space because I want to be able to bring them in and out. And then I also wanted, if something's taller and won't fit, I wanted it to be able to go on the side. So I have the bins in here. And those have been awesome. My sweet sisters, when I first got my rig, seriously, we came and measured every single cupboard everywhere and figured out how many bins we could fit <laughs> in each cupboard. So bins, there's tons of places to get them. You can go to Ikea. There's also a store, it's called, I think it's called storage. Um, I think it's called storage and it, all, that's all they sell is bins for storage. And so anyway, that has been huge. Um, so we have all of our cans right here up on the top, this bin. I love to pull this whole bin out too if I'm making something, if I'm baking, because it has all of my flour and oats and things like that in it. So I can just pull that whole bin out and I have everything I need for baking. And so I love that. Um, let me see, and here we have these pull out drawers here. So this is kind of just our snack drawer. And then we put all of our supplements and vitamins and stuff in here. And then here in the bottom drawer, we have like our garbage bags. I store like potatoes or like big things like that in this drawer as well. We have like our shopping bags and then like our dish towels, candles. So it's kind of a random drawer. And then up here in the top, this was something too. We have our spices up here, but we got the right bin sizes so we could double stack. And so I love that. And then my sister and I too, we labeled everything. So like I have baking spices here so I know that if I'm baking I can just grab those ones out and then like my baking so I have exactly what's in these bins here too. So that's been really helpful. Um, I love over here, <laughs> we have these drawers. And I have all my kids stuff right here and I love that because my kids can get to it themselves. And so that's been, a, I love having a bottom drawer for kids' plates and bowls and stuff like that. So I love that. And then um, we have, I mean, we have everything we need in here, guys. <laughs> you can fit it all if you just have it organized a little bit. Here's all of our um, sandwich bags and things like that. So then there's this cupboard right here. And you will see this everywhere in our rig. We have command strips everywhere <laughs> so you can hang stuff or this is a command strip shelf uh, or a little cubby thing and so I, I love these you can hook them to it so it gives you vertical space anywhere that you can think where you can put something where it can vertically fit I love it because then you have extra storage and it's organized and we put all of our big pans down here in the bottom under the sink the pans that won't fit over on this side and then on this side we pretty much stack everything. I, I honestly, if I was buying stuff for my rig, I would buy pans that, that stack all inside of each other, like the same set of pans. But since I didn't already have that, I just, it's been fine. Um, and then back, this goes back so far too. So back there inside, um, I also have like more, more like my strainers and we have our cutting boards over here and our anything big, like the cutting boards or my cookie sheet, they're right here on the side. And then underneath here I have my smaller pots and pans, um, muffin tins, I mean we have everything in here. Underneath here there's also more storage where we have um, our grill stuff in the back and then our um, 
baking pans and things like that in here as well. So, I mean, there's, there's so much storage. And then the fridge, I want to talk about the fridge because when you are traveling full time, which I didn't know, um, it's nice to have these bins like this and I like them for several reasons. So number one, I can take them out to clean them. If something drips in the fridge, it stays in the bins. I probably do this in my house guys if I was to have the regular fridge. But I love that um, when we're traveling, they don't they don't move around so they stay put while we're traveling and it just keeps everything super organized. We can go to Costco and fit everything in this fridge, but I love it because I can pull these bins out, set them on the counter, and then put all my stuff in them and then shove them back in. And so definitely the bins in the fridge has been awesome. Um, I, this is a full-size freezer too. I mean, so I mean, literally we can, I go to Costco and buy meat and just freeze it all separately and freeze our bread. I mean, there's tons of storage space in this rig. So if you do have a big family and you haven't seen why, um, or you haven't, you don't know what rig you're going to get yet, I highly suggest this one. We have, there's seven of us usually traveling because my mom usually comes with us. There's plenty of room in this rig for everything. We did a video about why we chose this rig too if you want to check that out. But I love, so we found the perfect storage things for every cupboard. <laughs> so this, um, I, I can put all my protein shakes and collagen and stuff in there up above our cereal cupboard. In here, so once again, the perfect, this container fit perfectly this way so I can stack my cups. So kind of knowing what you have and you're going to bring is helpful when you're trying to figure out bins. Um, my sister was so awesome. She went to the container store. That's what it's called, the container store. She went to the container store and she bought like, like tons and tons of different containers too. And then we brought them all here and tried them all where, where they would fit and whatnot. And then she took them back for me. So, um, but these work awesome too. So we have our shake cups here, but then up on top we have the lids. Um, just, I mean, just, just kind of think that way. Make sure that you can, you can use the space up above if you need to. And then up here on the top we just have like our, this is like our plastic forks and spoons and then we keep a lot of our, um, the stuff we don't want the kids to get to. <laughs> we keep that up there. So all of our magic markers, things like that. Um, this one is just for keys and, and we have some homeschool, a little bit of homeschool stuff up here but not much. And then down here below, this is kind of just our junk drawer. So kind of get a little bit of everything there. And this is our pens and pencils, our silverware. This that's the hard thing too. I couldn't I couldn't find the right size silverware thing to fit in this drawer because it was short. But I found these bins that work awesome from all a dollar. So just finding the right bins really to be able to kind of get organized is super helpful. All of my sharp stuff goes in there, knives and things. Um, two of you have kids is awesome because everything's baby proofed. Well, so far he can't get into the cupboard yet, <laughs> my one year old. <laughs> But down here, so down here we have our our mixer, we have our popcorn maker, which um, we love. We have our Vitamix. Over on this side we have our smaller blender, like a bullet blender, and then we have a toaster, we have our humidifier. Over here we have plates, and this is an awesome little, I think you can see that, but this is another little stocker thing that my sister found. So that's been awesome to be able to stack things in. And really on moving day, I thought, when I saw this, I was like, this isn't going to work, but on moving day, as long as there's something, as long as things are pretty tight in there, things don't really move around too much. And then over here, we have more, this is kind of more homeschool stuff, craft stuff that we have in these two cupboards. And down here on the bottom, this is just our, what is that called, babe? So that's where your fuses are. The fuse box. <laughs> and then, um... We have a full-size garbage can right here too. It just fits right on the side of our counter, so that's nice there. And then this has been awesome, right here. If you okay, so in this rig we already have some shoe storage under the stairs right here. We have you can fit about maybe like eight pairs of shoes in there, but they're like way back in there. So if anyone needs their shoes, they pull all the shoes out and make a huge pile right here. And so. Um, that really wasn't working well, but we found this on Amazon and then these are command strip hooks And so we just took them right onto the wall there and now we can put a ton of shoes in there as well And that that saves space in the kids bedrooms as well because we pretty much keep the shoes out here Logan has some of the water shoes in the underneath bin 
things like that. Um, also, these pictures on the wall, command strips. We have command strips everywhere, but they just stick right to the wall. So those have been awesome. They're just canvas prints, super light. So if you want to do some kind of decorating, I love the canvas because it's super light and the command strips hold it. Right here, um, we switched out two of our chairs for this, um, what do you want to call it? It's like a, it's a storage box really. <laughs> <laughs> but you can sit on it. That's kind of like an Ottoman storage box. But so this time I'm going to put all of my kids' homeschool stuff this year underneath here because last year we had it in our storage over on the back wall and it was just too hard for the kids to get down. But this way they can all just take the lid off and then I'm going to have, I just have like file, um, what are those things called? I'll show you right here. I had these. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. So I had these for each one of my kids. And now I'll just have them in there so they can get to them easy. But then all their books just fit right in, their school books just fit right in here. And they could just pull out their whole bin while they did their schoolwork. And then they'll just be able to stick it back in there. So I think that'll work good this year. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty much how we did their school stuff. And then let me show you over here because um, we right now don't have everything loaded to go but up here above the TV. We have our DVD cases, CD, DVD cases, and there's room up there too. You guys can see there's so much space that we're not even using. And if you have the right bins, you can fill it up. <laughs> um, I actually, I should put a plug in here for my friend, um, Gwen Floyd. She has a follower on Instagram and her Instagram name is Everyone loves the Floyds. I can think of it. Everyone loves the Floyds, but she's an organization genius. She has like 50 pairs of shoes that are her own in her rig. And <laughs> she also has like all of her nail polish is like 500 things of nail polish. Like if you want to know how to like pack, pack it in, she's the lady for you. Logan and I don't like to travel with, we don't, we, we kind of did this lifestyle to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And so we don't have a ton of stuff in here. Um, I mean, we could even have more. So here's extra storage stuff. We go to Costco. And so I have some of the big stuff that we get at Costco in here. And on moving day, if there's little things, I'll we put these little rods up. And then this is awesome. I would highly suggest one of these drawers up here or somewhere in your rig because in these drawers, they can come out and I have like our batteries in here and extension cords. We have our command strips. I mean, you can put some of your first aid stuff in here, anything you want, but I love that. And then we just have our cooler and our, um, what's that? Our internet <laughs> cable. <laughs> here we keep our camera stuff. Here's our game box. I'll show you what I do with all my games too. I loved this. So I have, this is like phase 10, the card game. But um, I actually was gonna put it inside of a binder, but it got too fat, but I still like having it in these little, um, zipper things it's super convenient and easy and so all, pretty much all of our kids card games are just in these zipper things so they stay together and then yeah we just have our big pots up here we have our i highly suggest having either an instapot or a ninja that's another tip those are lifesavers um we actually are going to take out the crock pot but we have a crock pot over here as well that we never have used not once because we have the ninja and we had the Instapot before. So that is, yeah, that's pretty much, I will show you in case you are watching this and you have our exact rig. Well, there is this storage space here too that we love, that we put our scriptures and stuff in, but um, just stuff that's easy to get to. And then there's also more storage right here. So this is just like where we put our cords and things like that. There's also storage under this couch, which, which we don't use, so you could put blankets or whatever under there. And then these chairs actually too lift up in their storage underneath the bottom of the chairs. So there's storage everywhere. Um, okay, so now I'll show you kind of the organization of the kids' bunk room. Well, sorry, the bunk room is usually where my mom stays, so we actually don't utilize the cupboards in there, which there's a lot of them. But I'll just kind of show you some of the things we've done in the bunk room to be able to have all three of my kids' clothes and stuff in the bunk room with them. It's awesome. Okay, so let me turn on some lights. You can see. Up here in the bunk room, let's see, I'll let Logan show you. Get him on the other side. So I have, this is a shoe rack 
that I got at Ikea, I think, or I got it online, but it's been perfect for these bins from Ikea or from, we just got these ones online too on Amazon, but the Ikea bins fit perfectly underneath. Oh, let me show you. Right now, oh, well, there's, we're doing laundry today, so <laughs> there's only two socks in there. But these little bins, I'll do have them put their socks and underwear in the little bins. And then the big bins have their, their outfits. And then we have some of their like church clothes and things like that hung in our closet. But as far as like their pajamas and things like that, they just go in these big bins. And I can fit um, four across the top of the big bins. And then the little bins, I can fit four on the bottom as well. So really all the clothes that we brought for them that they wear most days, fit up here in the so we love the loft and the loft has been awesome to be able to um for storage for the kids clothes and stuff with having this right here and it's perfect it really is a perfect space right there in between the bed the mattress and the um little rail right here so that's been perfect and then as we move into the bathroom same thing are you guys probably anyone who has a rig there's a lot of um, little <laughs> cupboards that you're like what am I gonna do with that space but these cupboards they're so small but they're really deep and so my sister she found this at the container store but she found these really skinny um, containers that actually fit right in there and you can stack them in here and then we also found these you know these were pretty expensive at the container store but these actually are really inexpensive and this was at, um, this is just one of those Ikea bins as well. And then my sister bought on Amazon, she got a, a labeler. And then we just labeled what was in them so I didn't have to dig and look. I just can stack them and know exactly what's in them. And you can do that everywhere. We have them. Um, I mean, we don't, see, we still have tons of space that we're not even using. So, but we could be utilizing all that space if we needed to. And then down here, same thing, we found perfect containers that stack on top of each other. So I have my containers stacked and then the stuff I use every day is on the top. The stuff I need to get to sometimes, it's all labeled and down here below. And so that's awesome. I have my cleaning supplies on the bottom here and then makeup and hair stuff here. And then the stuff that we need to get to all the time in the bathroom is all just up in here. So all of our toothbrushes, once again, these commands, these are everywhere, but I love our toothbrushes so you can go vertical with your stuff and razors. Um, I would even eventually like to get some more bins so everything's more organized in here. And then also in the shower, super important again, we have command strips everywhere. We can hang our swimming suits. If there's a towel that needed to dry, you can kind of see. Um, we have command strips everywhere. And we even have a command strip over on this wall, so we have an extra towel there. We have command strips in our, that's a, towels are a big deal. There's like, there's nowhere to put towels. <laughs> Cause they're so bulky, but behind our door here, I'll let Logan come in. Behind our door here, we have more command strips. And then something I love, so in your closets as well, um, we found these, this was super cheap too. I don't even, like we found this on Amazon but you can put them together and have as many together as you want in any, and the bins actually fit in them. Logan and I didn't love the bins in here just cause these are clothes that we want to get to quickly every day. And then we have just some of the baby clothes hang, hung in here, but once again, we have more command strips so you can hang stuff vertically on the walls. You can hang necklaces or jewelry stuff here as well. And then I love bins like this. I'm just going to show you. So this is all my baby's clothes and I love these containers from Ikea, so I have it all organized in here. It's his shorts, his pants, his shirts, hats, and then his jammies. But I can see everything, so if you fold them the right way, you can see everything. They're all organized. And then I also can stack this bin on top of another bin if I need to in here. And so I love just having bins where you can just stack. You have extra diapers and socks, and that's all my hair stuff. I do hair sometimes on the road, and so I have that in here. Um, but else I'll show you in case you guys aren't familiar with these this is what they're like so you get them from Ikea and they fold up too so it's nice because if you want to store them they're super light and easy to store but then you just zip them down the middle and then you have a storage bin so it's pretty awesome these we have everywhere and then in our closet there's actually a ton of space here too. So we have our hats up here on the top. 
And then if you go behind our clothes, there's more, there's bookshelves, tons of shoe storage down here on the bottom. So we have all of our shoes down there and then like we have, we'll have a lot more books in a minute. <laughs> Logan's dreading more stuff, but we'll have more books for homeschool in here. Um, and then, but we, I mean, there's this goes, these shelves go all the way back on both sides. So, I mean, we have tons and tons of storage for our clothes. So, and then over here, so be thinking when you have a rig of anywhere you can stick command hooks to hang things. We have, usually we have all of the back, kids backpacks, camel backs. There's more command strips on this side of the wall. So this whole little corner has um, those command hooks where we can put bags, jewelry, anything. I have some back here behind the clothes. So if we want to, you can hang some of your hats here or jewelry back there. Um, so really it's just kind of getting creative with your space and um, most of the time there is our bed lifts up most beds do and there's storage underneath here i've seen um, my friend um, gwen floyd that i told you about she actually puts those the big bins that i have in the kids storage she puts those full of shoes underneath her bed so <laughs> logan and i have a heavy mattress because we like a big soft mattress and so it's kind of it's kind of heavy to get in and out of and so we just have blankets extra blankets down there um but if you have one of the hydraulics that it just lifts up it's pretty easy and then you can store those bins with shoes or anything you want under the bed and this also has a drawer that pulls out we put our laundry here but that could be storage for whatever you want to so i think that's pretty much those are my storage tips make sure that you have the right bins to fit and remember that you can stack bins so you can use your space that way also think about vertical space where you can hook some command strips or different command type um, containers that you can um, keep things in and keep it organized but i hope this helps somebody and let me know what you do to keep your rig organized i would love to hear some of your tips as well so in the comments i would love you to share thanks guys